Today on the channel we're going to be going over some of the stuff you'd see on a four channel symphony magnet. Uh, we're going to go over the gradient cabinet right now. In the upper portion right here, and I apologize for the camera, I don't have a tripod today, I'm on a uh, trailer. You have the gradient small signal unit. This is what converts all of the information that comes from the host computer via the MPCU over to the controls to set up your scan parameters for gradient. This is the D17 board over here. This is what is called the input output board. This has all of your service mode features on it. Uh, one board over to the left of that. This is the D16 board. This is what talks to the CAN bus. This is a mechanical CAN bus connection. These are your, this is 500 and 501. These are for your loops for timing. The D14 board is the modulator. This is what actually powers on some of the sequences directly to the gradient amplifier. The D12 before that is the regulator. That's what uh, is used to keep the, the what power you need per scan. And then the D11 is your DAC or your digital analog converter. So that's gonna take all the stuff from the MPCU and convert it over into your scan parameters. These are your gradient amplifiers. They're literally, it's X, Y, and Z for each access. These happen to be quantum gradients, so they're the highest uh, gradient strength that you can get for a Siemens Symphony. Below here, I'm not gonna remove this panel, but behind here is your D31 and your D32. The D31 is your soft start board uh, that enables power to the entire rack, and then your D32 is the rectifier board. And you can see here, this is the output of the D32 and the output of the D32 goes directly to the gradient amplifier itself and that's to clean up the power. And, to, and then here, right here, each, uh, each gradient amplifier has an input and an output for cooling. The, they are all water cooled. And that's about it. Uh, that's just where everything is and the nomenclature for it. Thank you.